guy here. Today, we're going to go through the AC control access controls for NIST 800-53 Ref 5. Let's take a look at NIST 800-53 Revision 5. Security and privacy controls for information systems and organizations. We're scrolling down to page number 16, V controls. Now a security control is something that you put in place to reduce risk, reduce risk of a cyber attack, reduce risk of impact to the business. Okay, so a security control um, could be a policy, it could be a technical control like a firewall, so there are different types of security controls. We're going to be looking at AC1. AC stands for access control and this is a security control family. When we say security control family, we just mean a category within the security control. So there are different types of security controls and each uh, security control has its own, it's under its own security control family. So this one is the access control family. And this is known as a dash one. And you see AC one or a dash one, it, it usually is about policies and procedures. So they pretty much have the same uh, makeup, develop, document, disseminate. Um, you know, they're just policies and procedures, um, making sure that you have the roles, responsibilities written down in some kind of policy or some type of SOP uh, so that there is no confusion, everyone's on the same page, and there are, you're less likely to make mistakes um, one of the number one um, ways that uh, an organization gets breached is through user error. So uh, users can make mistakes if they don't know um, what to do, if they don't follow the right steps. So that's why it's important to have policies and procedures to hold people accountable. So for each security control, as an assessor or I, as an ISSO, uh, you're looking for artifacts to support those security controls to prove that the organization is abiding by uh, those security controls in this 800-53. So the ISSO does a self-assessment or pre-assessment, uh, which is kind of like a readiness check before the main assessment. Then the the security control assessor does the actual uh, assessment. So what the assessor would be looking for to satisfy this control to prove that the organization follows this is um, some type of uh, SOP that has all these elements written in that SOP, okay? So here, account management. So this is another control within the access control um, family. This one's talking about support the management of system accounts using, um, then here it's saying a organization defined automated mechanisms. So you as an organization could choose or select the type of automated tools or account management tools to use. One of the most common ones is Active Directory. So um, Windows or Microsoft Active Directory uh, is an account management tool. So what you know when you start a new job and you're given a username and password and um, you're assigned to a group and in a particular role, that's usually through um, Active Directory. So it's a, a, an account management tool. So this tool, um, will be used to satisfy majority of these controls as evidence. So either a screenshot of, um, you know, the uh, user account, uh, maybe the, the account management window that shows that this is a user, this is a username, and any type of group policy settings. So basically any type of role-based um, assignment within Active Directory will be used 
to satisfy his control. And here it's saying um, that uh, you need to show proof that you automatically or the, the system or tool automatically uh, removes or disables temporary or emergency accounts. So again, Windows um, Active Directory would be a good tool to prove or to show that this is being done. Okay, so a screenshot uh, will suffice for that. Okay, so this NIST 800-53, think of this as a, a giant checklist of any type of security um, scenario. Okay, so that is your toolbox or your toolkit to um, help remediate um, any type of cyber breaches. So I just went to Google and I typed in Active Directory user disable settings. And here you can see what I'm talking about. This is um, Windows Active Directory. Um, this is what the window looks like. So you could add computers, you could add users, you could add groups. And these are the different privileges. So here <clears throat> is a setting that says that the password um, never expires. Definitely, you don't want to do that. That's not good security. But it's basically um, here to show you that there are different types of settings um, that you could see in Windows Active Directory. And this is a type of screenshot that you would be looking for when uh, trying to satisfy the control. Let's see if we could find something better. So here you can see that you could actually disable an account, but what we're actually looking for is a setting um, within Active Directory that does this automatically um, after a certain time. So you could manually disable a user account. Let's say the user is no longer with the organization, you can manually um, disable. Or if you could have like a temp, temp account or emergency account, you could actually set within Active Directory, okay, this account's gonna be active for 30 days and after 30 days, it automatically gets disabled. Hope you found this valuable. If you did, go to www.cyberfirstacademy and learn more. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirst Solutions. Thank you.